Hey everybody out there in YouTube and Facebook, this is Chris Nicholson and I'm bringing you a vintage Casio right over here. This Casio, um, it broke a lot of barriers because well, number one, this was the first Casio that ever had PCM sounds. PCM, which I'm going to zoom in, meant plus code modulation, which means that the sounds were actually sampled inside. So when you get a piano, it actually sounded like a piano. All right. Now, um, this model is the Casio Tone CT640. That's before they made the Tone Bank and the CTK series. So the CT series was like the first. There was many CT series, but they had um, the, um, the old CZ um, Tone Generator. Um, this actually had PCM. All right, so you had um, a little graphic equalizer right over here, which actually had a little, little mixer. The power, main volume, accompaniment volume, rhythm volume, and you had the chord memory, plus you had MIDI. So you had different kinds of MIDI, different kinds of chords on here, which is really cool. This is actually four part multi-timbral. Um, you have, um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, which is really cool. You have 30 instruments. So 30 preset instruments. And here's your rhythms. So you had um, your fill-in, synchro, synchro fill-in, um, your stop start, you had your ending, intro ending, you had your tempo, and you had 30 different rhythms. And what made me really buy the keyboard was not the sounds, it was the rhythms. So, um, and also you get to select up and down. Um, also, you had a one track sequencer, which is just a you know, recorder. And you also had your registrations right here, four different registrations. Um, here is the demo which I'll get to that later, but you have 465 tone bank, which is also located right here. And you had your harmonizer. You know, the tone bank, 465 tone bank, that what made a lot of people buy this keyboard was basically combination. So you can have a piano, honky tonk piano at the same time, or a piano, accordion, you know, any kind of instrument, even drums with piano, you can have it. So it was, um, it was a very awesome keyboard back then. You have, um, uh, a built-in music rest, which is right here, which is um, the holders, which is still on Casio's today. And also you had two stereo speakers, which are very loud. And let me go to the back of it. Oh, by the way, 61 full-size keys. So let me go to the back of it. And you had some really good professional features. You had the line out, of course, the power cord, the line out, which is not just one. It was actually stereo. Foot volume. Uh, you hardly see those in Casios anymore. Not even Casios. You hardly see those in any kind of keyboards anymore. Sustain. You have the tune. So you can actually tune it straight to a piano. You have the MIDI in, out, and through. And of course, this is Casio 465 Tone Bank. Okay. So now let me stop talking. And I'm going to play the demo. Getting back to the demo. Uh, the demo is by Shack Attack. That's the group. So you can look it up on YouTube. And the song is called Nightbirds. So here we go.
that was the demo that actually also made me buy this keyboard. Um, I had a friend, his name, he probably might see it, but um, his name is Ira Berman, and he actually had this keyboard first, and I first bought the smaller version, which was the MT240, does the same thing. Instead of having 30 voices, it had 20 voices, which is 210 tone bank. But this keyboard um, is basically part of the Casio Museum collection that I have here. And this keyboard will never leave my site because it broke a lot of barriers. On top of that, you can look at the casing. And the casing, it has such a very sleek, professional look to it. I mean, even in the side of the speakers over here, that you have a nice, good, professional groove. There was um, many versions of this, which I also have in my collection over there. Um, one of them that has actually the sounds on it is, uh, or I should say the uh, sound effects on it was the, um, was the CT540. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a CT460. Um, the MT540 was a smaller version of it. So I have to demonstrate that. And then they came out with the newer version of this, which is actually the same thing, which I have over there. Um, it's the CT650. And it's the same thing. Only thing about it is that it has a different demo and a different casing and probably a little bit of a newer sound to it. Okay. So this is just a Casio um, retro keyboard, uh, which I wanted to bring to you. Uh, write me back, subscribe, click like, favorites, and um, and speaking of Casio, here's my cat. What's the matter? Hey, you want to play the keyboard? Yeah, she wants to play the keyboard. What you doing? All right. As I said, click like, subscribe, favorites, um, and post me your comments. What do you think about it? Thank you very much. Have a nice day.